Hello and welcome to another extremely fascinating episode of What's Cooking right here on City TV. My name is Apioko and well today I'm alone but not so alone in the kitchen. I'm the one who's going to be guiding you through some dishes here. We're doing a breakfast spread and why not? So I'm from white cocoa or ma cocoa as we call it which is cornmeal basically. Um, and then we've got some French toast, some pan toast as well. I'll explain what that is when it's time. And my world famous baked beans and eggs, if I do say so myself. But I do have a guest who is joining me to help me with the cooking. And when we return, you find out who she is. What's cooking? We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching What's Cooking right here on City TV. Once again, my name is Apioko, and now it's time to find out what's cooking. A lot. <laughs> so, my I'm expecting my 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 big sister, my friend, my boss. Oh, there you are! Come, 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 come! Hey. Jessica is here. And what's good? Oh, oh how are what's you? What's cooking? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but what a lot of people don't know is mm. that you're the programs manager oh, yeah. of City FM and City TV. True. How's that going? <laughs> oh, how's it going? Very well, actually. Very well. Um, I think it's been a really, really long journey. Yeah. yeah. Really, really yeah. long journey. Yeah. Um, it's been, what, 16 years since working at City? Yeah, years. 16 years. And um, it's been filled with lots of challenges, <laughs> you know. Um, Lots of excitement as well. What have some of the challenges been? Um, they've been varied, you know, because we're putting out new programs, we're putting out events, we're putting out both on-air and off-air promotions, you know, and um, those come with their own sort of unique, um, uh, uh, should I say, challenges, yeah. you know, for want of a better yeah. word. So, yeah. but so far so good. What are you making today? Okay, so... I've started with what we call ma cocoa, the white cocoa. Oh, right. You have a story about that, don't you? Yeah, the story you told me. Oh, what? First time you make cocoa for your dad. Right, yeah. <laughs> that was lumpy. <laughs> I had no clue how much water to use. Like, yeah, yeah. That was a couple of years ago yeah. in my teens. Yeah. Um, my mom gave me a really nice earful. Um, <laughs> but hopefully you can teach me how to do it better yes, today. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I got a head start because sometimes it can take a bit of time. Okay. But this so is a cornmeal. Okay, okay cornmeal. So it's fermented corn. So maize, you know, goes through the whole milling process, whatever. Okay. And then you typically soak the maize. That's a process, mm. the part of the process we typically don't see. You soak it? Yes, but I like to do it myself. So soak the maize, big bucket, for three days, four days. Okay. And then you take it to the mill, mm -hmm. and then you get this, this cornmeal. Right. Yes. So you typically add water. You can make it into balls, freeze it, and it lasts for months. Okay. okay so this I is like that. what it looks like. So I just put a bit of that in there. Okay, with water? Uh, yes. How, um, so, how do you know how much water to put in there? Well, I mean, you don't need too much. You really don't need too much. You see, we're not making banku. Right. Uh -huh. We're making a porridge. So looking at the size of the pan, I just sort of coated the bottom of this. Okay. And then put some regular water in there. And okay. And I put it on fire. So I let this sit for a while. Right. So that, because it's dry. Okay. Um, you don't want the sediments to just be sitting in there mm. it should be nice and smooth the way we like it i get okay. it so at least it doesn't turn out exactly like mine and then i added some ago. salt as well okay so it's just sort of chilling there and i have some hot water on standby oh super what yes. for why so we're going to add that mm -hmm. if you 
add cold water as it begins to heat up it will coagulate right yeah so the hot water prevents the lump from doing that exactly so we don't have oats <laughs> Why do I feel yeah. like that was like a jab? Yeah. Oh, but you didn't even see not, it. It's this not, was my story. Yeah, but I have a good imagination, and you told the story well. <sighs> Woman, <laughs> I need something to drink. Don't you want? Do you have something in your oh, fridge? Yeah, actually, I think there's some juice in there. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. So while you're getting, I'm just going to start adding some of the hot water. Okay. It's beginning to thicken, and like I said, we're not making banku, so. Right. Okay. Just I see you have some cranberry water. juice or something. Yeah. This is cranberry juice. It is, is it? It is cranberry Just juice. Just checking. It is. It's you were talking what about. What else would it be? Uh, hey. Vodka. Why and you? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you putting me on blast? Well, since we're both putting each other on blast, <laughs> we might as well. So just take a look at this. Hmm. It's already thickening up. Oh, see? I see that. Okay. So I'm going to just that put it on a really quickly. Heat. Yes. So I'm just, and that's why you don't need too much of it. Right. So I'm going to put it on low heat. Now, have you ever had the cocoa with pepper? What? Yeah. Why are you putting pepper in it? Well, it's... I don't want pepper. It, 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 I'm not Isn't it going to be like so um, how's that cocoa then? Uh, no, because no? you see, how's that cocoa, first of all, has a millet base. So right. already, you don't have that kick, hmm. okay? So I'll just, just use dried peppers. You, right. can, you can help me out just breaking them in there. Okay. Um, you could also choose to use powdered pepper, the so powdered red pepper. How many of these are we using, though? Um, you can take three and break them in. Right. Don't worry, it won't be hot. Yeah, when I don't want spicy cocoa. So when the peppers are dry, uh -huh. because they don't have water content, right. they sort of lose Eggs. a bit of the kick. Yeah. Right, I get so that. So it's not as hot as you think. Okay, because okay. I was worried. And then we'll also add some wings, yeah. That's Which one's pointy? Yeah. This one? Yes. This one over here? The Negro pepper. You are telling me. How many? <laughs> um, five. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I you just that. break those in as well. Same way I did the others? Um, sometimes, Good enough? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you could also decide to use the, the fresh peppers, the scotch bonnets, the normal pepper, fresh pepper, right. shito, mm -hmm. papu shito maybe. Hey, these like, are hard to break, okay? They're so strange. just sort of, yeah, like this. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. Oh, they, they, they look like sticks, but they're so not. So we're still going to put milk and sugar in here at some point. If you want to. I mean, sugar, yes, but milk, I typically don't like milk with no my wife's No wonder you're putting cocoa. pepper in this. I like yeah. milk with my cocoa, okay? My cocoa. And I like to cook the sugar in. You know some people will just put it in after. Mm -hmm. I, I like the caramelization that happens when you toss it in. So if you could just be so kind. It's labeled <clears> sugar, <throat> one of those black tins. So just to mess you up, I'm going to give you salt. Wow. <laughs> wow, Jess. <laughs> yeah. We're having guests, are we? Yes, we are. Okay. One today, actually. Oh. Someone you know, but I'll keep it a secret for now. <laughs> well, so far as the person's not going to eat all our food. Maybe it's someone How many you like. Um, two for now. So okay. that if anyone wants more, the then table, they can then. add it. Yes. I like that. Okay. Great. So you see already, you have the swirls of sugar in there. Yeah. Yeah. I and actually put salt in. I'm sorry. Just to be... No, I'm kidding. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then just to be a little bit bougie, mm -hmm. either nutmeg or cinnamon. I mean, I like cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah, so just a, a yes. bit. Just a bit. Yeah. And that's we mix it in. It gives it a whole different feel. Hmm. And that's it. And we just allow it to cook so that we don't have runny tummies. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't, like, cook properly, we're going to probably have yeah, to Yeah, probably. Right? Okay. Yeah, so that's really just it. Um, sometimes you can actually, but I'm just trying to be really, this is when I want to do a quick porridge. Okay. Um, and my kids, they tend to like pepper. I, I don't know how that happened. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, their dad does. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. But sometimes you just blend a bit of the fresh pepper, throw it in. Hmm. Ginger. I didn't add ginger because I know you don't like ginger messing with your food. Well, if it's on my chicken, I'll eat it. <laughs> But not in your porridge. Not, not in, in my drinks. cocoa, though. Yeah, like yeah. not in my drinks. But either. I'm like you, know, I don't like it that much. So mm. I, I, but some people would add a bit of ginger. So let's smell that. Cinnamon, man. Yeah, love it. That's a trick. Completely. So that's pretty much it. Great. So I'm just going to keep it on low heat. Okay. Could you please pass me a plate from up there? Yes. Just one of the small ones. So Flat can, plate. Yes, please. All just so right. I can put the spoon on top of it. Okay. There you go. Okay. So the trick with this is, which I didn't mention, the beginning, before we added the hot water, mm -hmm. you need to keep stirring. 
Okay. Because you have all the sediments at the, at the bottom. bottom. Yes. So until they form into this smooth consistency, if you're not stirring, then you have lumps. <laughs> so that's you the You reminded trick. me of my 16-year-old <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. mishap. So that's pretty much it. Cool. Yeah. I can't wait to taste you this. Like it. I'm definitely putting milk in it, though. You like it? Oh, you like yours with milk. Well, there's lots oh, of yeah. milk. Cocoa has to be with milk. No? <laughs> Isn't that what they say? Well, that's what they say, but I, I, well, I like hausa cocoa with milk, but yeah. not oh, right, wise okay. cocoa. And, and oh, another thing, you could add granuts to it. You like almonds yes. um, or cashews. So we could throw you some can, in. Yeah, you can have fun with it, really. Have fun with it. Here's your drink. You Thank you. It. Cheers. Okay. What's next? Mm -hmm. So, French toast. <sighs> French yeah. toast. Love yeah. it. So I'm going to get that started. Okay. Because we're doing some Ghana pancakes as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is get the French toast batter going. Right. And then you will take over at the stove. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So French toast, very simple. I actually call it my cheap pancake. Right. So usually what I say is for every um, one egg, mm -hmm. you can have two slices of bread. Okay. Averagely. Right, depending so, on the size of the exactly. egg. Exactly. Sure. So, oh, there we go. So just one of that. those. Mm -hmm. So this is two slices of bread, right? Yeah. So that's, that's four, four. slices. Thank you, milady. You're welcome. Okay. And then that's six. Got some shells in there. Let me just get them out. Okay. There we go. So that's six slices, and then maybe I'll do one more. Since we're not expecting too many people, the other things to get to. Right. Okay. Here we go. So it's a very simple process. Just start beating the egg with a fork, just like that. Let's put a bit of salt in here. In here? Okay. The salt is over there. Right. In the small bowl, yeah. Just a little bit. Is this okay? Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then, here comes the fun part, the milk. And the little so what kind of milk is this? This is evaporated milk. Okay, it's all, all regular Yes, regular, brand. Right. Okay. What, what we like. Okay, so you can choose the brand you want. So just How pour, much is this? just keep pouring. I'll tell you when to stop. Alrighty. Okay, that's enough. And then there's some pitchers of water in the corner. Right. You can just pour a bit of that because evaporated milk is thick. Yes. You know. So can you use this. like a regular, let's say, um, the, the, the fresh carton milk. Yes, fresh milk? Yes, you can. Okay. But because you know, Ghanaians typically don't do, do that a lot kind of, of milk. Yes. So when I have people over, I just try to do evaporated because okay. it's what people are familiar with and it's cheaper. So. Okay. All right. How much water? Okay. So just pour. All right, we're good. Yeah, that's all. Just to thin out the evaporated milk a bit. If we're using the carton milk, mm -hmm. we wouldn't need the water. Okay. Okay. And then cinnamon once again. Mm. I mean, who doesn't like cinnamon French toast? Mm. Okay. Everybody loves it. And be generous with it, man. Don't hold back with the cinnamon on this one. Okay. Are we going to put any essence in it at some point? I'm, I'm not using vanilla essence today. Well, then um, again, you have cinnamon. Yes. So. Um, but sometimes I mix the two. Okay. Know? So we have vanilla, cinnamon, cinnamon, vanilla. But today I just tried to keep it a little bit simple. Okay. And then some sugar. Yeah, right. so that's your job again. I'm just stirring this. <laughs> and it's I put salt done. in it just to make you mad. Why are you being naughty? Because I'm naughty. <laughs> okay, sometimes. <laughs> Our cocoa right, is here doing we go. great. Okay. So maybe just two spoonfuls. Yeah. Okay. One more? Yes. That's there we go. Sweet. There we we go. like sweet. We no love sweet. You have a sweet tooth. Yes, I do. When are you going to confess on live TV? Say it. You have a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth. And I'm saying this under duress. Oh. <laughs> My boss is forcing me to say things on camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> if all the gummy bears go missing in the city, oh this one Lord. hasn't. Oh, Lord. Why are you Trust exposing me. Why are you doing that? Well, that's you, isn't it? Okay, so that's pretty much your batter for French toast. So we have some bread here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this bread. This special bread. This bread. Mm. Does it look familiar to you? Yeah. Enju bread. There's only one place in Ghana you'll get something like this. Yes. 
edgy bread. Right. Yeah, right. So how are we gonna do okay. this? All the it's not your typical marco. yeah size. Okay. So just slice. You can slice like you're slicing a baguette horizontally. Okay. So I'll give you a bread knife. Okay. Here you go. Why do you always do? I'm not sure. I think I watch too many movies. <laughs> Highlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, okay. Okay. Porridge is almost ready. So about this size is fine. We'll we'll split it in two, right? Well, okay. So we want to slice it this way. Oh, like actually that. have right. Slices. Okay, that whole yeah. thingy. Right. But we'll use the ends. Well, you should have said something. No. So just cut the end off. Still. <laughs> Okay. So who's okay. going to eat the ends? We'll eat them later. Okay. Yeah. Like and the, re and the reason I don't want us to use the ends is because the trick with French bread is the the bread itself soaks up the juice. True. Yeah. So the ends sort Make of it look a that bit. process. Yeah. Okay. So we should probably just at this point, I'm just going to call for a break. Okay. By the time we're back, I'm sure you'll be done with the bread and we continue. It's What's Cooking and there's a lot. My name is Apioko. We'll be right back. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Welcome back, and you guessed right, it's still what's cooking right here on City TV. My name is Apioka, and I'm here with the boss lady, the soul sister, the busy, biker busy, busy. girl, and the programs manager of City FM and City TV, Jessica Opari Safro. Yeah, you put, put me to work. work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I took the words right, you owe me a Coke. Yeah, well, you owe me so, a Coke. So she started doing the French toast, and look at that. She's doing a really good job. Okay, so, so far, so good. Yes, do we want to demonstrate just how you, you get it yeah, done? Yeah, so Maybe essentially. Maybe these ones are done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just grab your bread, dip it in that solution that we did earlier, yep. the egg mixed with cinnamon and yeah. milk and water. Uh, and you turn it around, let it sit in there for a bit. When you're done, put yep. you just put butter at the bottom of your um, saucepan. Yep. Uh, she got it. Frying She's pan. Yeah, an and you're good to go. There She's you go. She's already an expert. See? Woohoo! Very simple. So that's a cheap pancake. But now we're making Ghana pancakes. So while we're on the break, I cracked four eggs. So basically, when you're doing pancakes of any kind, two eggs. Um, should typically give you one serving. Okay. Okay. And, and one serving can serve um, how many people? Yeah, about four to six. You know, four to six um, pancakes. Right. Okay. So I've done. I'm just going to do about eight to twelve, Super. just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Okay. You never know. Yeah. So four eggs in here, and I'm beating them this time not with a, a fork but a whisk because the aeration is important for the pancake. Okay. Yeah. So not with a fork but a whisk. Okay. So you see, we have some bubbles in there. That's fine. So now I'm going for my milk. So with a Ghana pancake, the milk is very, very important. You see, we like such things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm putting the milk in there. Quite a generous bit of it. If I need more, I'll go back for it. And we continue to beat. See all the bubbles? Yeah. Yeah. Basically that. Okay, and I'm going to add some salt, just a pinch, really. Okay. So what's salt the true system. essence of the salt? Is it to bring the sugar out? Yes, it brings the flavors together. It brings the flavors together. Salt sort of acts like a leveler when it comes to flavor, mm. um, especially in sweet dishes. Right. In savory dishes too, but especially in sweet dishes. Okay. Okay, and then I need some pastry flour. Pastry flour. Yes. Because now it's a pancake. You right. don't have bread. 
Jess, I'm going to move your juice to the counter next to me. That's fine. Yeah. So, for instance, if you didn't want to do um, to, like you want to do a low carb pancake, you can substitute it with almond flour. Oh yes, completely. Super. Completely. Love it. Any kind of flour, corn flour, um, any kind of flour. So this is our usual wheat flour. Right. And I chose pastry flour because it's lighter. Okay. So it doesn't give you the heaviness of bread. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And I just like to work with it. It's easier to work with, in my opinion. Mm. Okay, so I have my sieve. Very important because aeration needs to happen. So what needs to happen? Aeration. Okay. See, so you see when you sieve the flour, sort of, it's like it opens up. Up the particles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's what, what does it that is. do? Like, why is um, that? Important? It gives you a fluffier pancake. So it's not very dense and heavy, and, and then it becomes chewy. Right, right. I get that. Yeah. So one orange, just cut it in half, and then one lemon, just cut that in half too. And there's a Ghana lemon, nah, okay. nothing, nothing strange, okay? Just squeeze, squeeze a lemon juice in there. Hmm. You know, it just takes away, any, and you could do this with vanilla essence or anything, but I just think that adding some natural flavors to take away the egginess, right. you know, helps out. So some lemon. And I'll use both wedges. Okay. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then orange, I'll use just one half. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. I've never made pancakes with lemon with or anything like that here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious to see how this one tastes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you love it. I'm sure. You I better. Like or I'm telling on you. I don't care that wow. this is TV. You know that, right? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to be, hey. oh, this is delicious. But, and but I know it's... It, but don't lie. Don't lie. Oh, the, 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 the advantage is I will tell the truth. So if your food is good, <laughs> girl, you got it. Yeah. You got it, baby. <laughs> So I'm just washing my hands so that I can fish. You're done with the French toast. One more, and then we're good to okay, go. Brilliant. There's more than so enough for everybody. The, the batter for the pancakes is just about ready. So right. you can hop right into that. So see, these are just very quick things. Really quick. Yeah. And they're, they're nice. You have people over. Just very quick. Right. And wipe out the pan slightly. Ta-da! Well, you've done French. a brilliant job. Toast. I'm proud of you. Extraordinaire. You cannot talk about French toast without uh, the French accent. 
This is uh, straight from Paris. Oui? Oui, oui, oui. D'accord. From Paris. Delicious. Oui. We shall put that over here. Très delicious. Ready. But it doesn't hurt anything. If you wanted a slightly thicker pancake, you could do that. Without the density. Right. You could do that. Okay. okay so I'm just tossing these out. And while you're on that, Jess, mm -hmm. preparing for my So just bacon. one at a time or two? Just one. Okay. Yeah. There we go. But it shouldn't be so big that you can't flip easily. That's right. Yeah. Okay. You're an expert. Why am I even telling you? No, this is your set. Hey, everybody cooks differently. <laughs> Just three cloves would do. So what's okay. this we're making again? Baked beans and eggs. Okay. It's also a very quick way to do your eggs. Okay. Right? Um, if you like baked beans, so I don't like cold baked beans. And I like my baked beans to be infused into my food. I don't know if that makes any sense. Right. So like if you make a Ghana salad, mm -hmm. love baked beans in there, but if you just pour the baked beans in afterwards. Right. I don't like it. I see. And you know some people pour their baked beans onto their food directly from the tin. I'll just add some fresh basil. You're familiar with fresh basil, right? What, what they call a kukong Yes, 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 yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. Just a bit of Nuts. that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so for those of you who are watching us, fresh basil is a kukong And we actually have some out in the garden, so. Why do they call it garden. that? I don't know. I don't know. I have a cousin. Who, I have a cousin who calls them chicken leaves <laughs> <laughs> because of that. Right. She's like, oh, do you have chicken leaves? Okay, so just nicely chopped, and we're good to go. I need. Okay, Jess, I need your height again. <laughs> How much no. you gonna pay me? All my love and then some. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then no. some. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'm just I need money, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know? so I know I'll just maybe add this put this over. So just here. because you asked no, me maybe to, do, to pick something for you, you But you said I should I'll get you another one. You need a smaller money. one? Yes. All right. Here I'm we just go. putting the chopped stuff in there. Okay. Let's put the chopped stuff in there, shall we? Okay. Ta da See? Hooray. That was easy. Hooray. Okay. But it might be too small. How are the pancakes doing? They're all burnt. No, I'm kidding. Really just... Oh, so look at that. It's so pretty. Absolutely. As pretty as I am. Uh, well, you're prettier. <laughs> you're prettier, but it's close. <laughs> the pancake comes close. Okay. So I've chopped everything you need for the baked beans and eggs. Okay. What next? Okay. So now I'm just going to slice my sausages. So what, what are your sausages in? I see you, some liquid in around brine. it. In brine. So it's just salt and water. Right, okay. Um, because we took them out of the freezer, I didn't want them sitting down. You know, they'll get dry. So just to keep them nice and moist, give them that. some flavor too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just slice them across like this. You can chop them up however you want. Mm -hmm. If you want them in tiny circles. If you want them in like tiny bits, like you find on a pizza, so right. you can do that. Okay. But this works for me. I like slicing things diagonally. I could tell you maybe yeah, do the bread. Mm -hmm. What's with that? Like you have a I low key know. obsession for. I mm, just what? I just like it. I don't know. Okay. It's dramatic. <laughs> like me. Ah oh, man, this is getting tiring. So <laughs> tiring. Squeezy. Lazy. Okay. So, yeah, so 
let's go back to you mm -hmm. as a manager. So you joined City and Witches 16 years ago. So yes, in 2005. Okay, so just like a year after City FM was born, basically. Less than actually, Less because than. Um, okay. probably six months. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. How did you end up there? Good question. I got fired from my, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know why I do this, sorry. Um, actually, I had finished my national service at Choice FM at the okay. time. Yeah. Oh, so you went straight into media from school? I was in media whilst I was in uni. Ah. So, um, I got my first job at 19 okay. with uh, Vibe FM at the mm. time. Now it's Live FM, right? And I worked there for about four years, like throughout the time I was in uni. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, was that planned? Well, no. I, I didn't even think I'd ever do the whole radio thing. Now it's not flipping. Okay. I didn't think I'd do the whole radio <laughs> thing. Um, my mom wanted me to do accounting because I love math. And you studied economics. Have. You are a math I did economics. Whiz. Jess is a math whiz. <laughs> she is. Oh, you give me too much credit. You are. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so went to school. Like whilst I was in school, I did vibe. And then when I was done, uh, I went to Choice FM. And I spent six months there before I came to City. So, yeah, that's just pretty much it. But why were you working throughout school? Like, how did Why that? not? Nobody no, wants extra cash. No, but I'm asking because, the, especially these days, mm -hmm. your average young person in uni is not thinking about working while they're in school. Maybe an they're attachment spoilt, on okay? vacation. They are spoilt. I mean, because I went throughout school, too. Exactly. You know, but, and people find this strange. And... There are all these conversations about, oh, you have connections. Well, I'm like, no. Yeah, that's I don't not, have connections. <laughs> that's not what it is. Not know? at all. Far from that. People don't get it. But I think, um, I mean, see, you need multiple streams mm. of income. And this is something I talk about all the time. Whilst yeah. I was in uni, of course, my parents were giving me money. Right. But at the end of the day, you, you want certain things your parents won't pay for. Exactly. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Like... <laughs> Exactly. You need to like earn your own keep and, and get all the stuff that you want. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I did. And it was pretty awesome. Okay. So, so was, you went to Radio Avai because you were interested in media or no. was an available job? Yes. So okay. my sister at the time. Um, Which one? Lily. Lily. The oldest. Oh, we love She Lily. used the name Kaylee on air. <laughs> she was on Vibe. Um, and they were looking for someone to host a youth program. Okay. So I... Um, she was like, oh, my sister's at home. She talks a lot. Prior kind of thing. <laughs> That's exactly how Lily talks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we, I went in. They didn't even audition me. They just wow. put me literally straight on air. Wow. And that day was disastrous. It was like I couldn't read. Charlie, I saw debut and I said D butts. <laughs> I had never seen the word before, to be honest. Like, <laughs> like D butts. Anyway, so programs manager comes rushing and says, like, you never heard the word debut? I'm like, no. <laughs> Get off me. No, I'm kidding. I didn't say that, but you catch my drift. Yeah. <laughs> it was a disaster. But I guess they didn't have too many choices, mm. so they kept me. <laughs> well. And here I am. 21 years later. But okay? that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But clearly, you improved over the years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's been you improved over um, the years. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. You know, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one years of practice yeah. can't be that. <laughs> can't be that. <laughs> that is what it is. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break, Jess, mm -hmm. and while you wrap up the pancakes, and when we come back, by then I'd have started the baked beans and eggs. We'll be right back. <laughs> What's cooking? What's City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world.
Welcome back. You're still watching What's Cooking right here on City TV. And in case you just joined us, you didn't know that I've been cooking up a storm with Jessica. Yeah, I agree. Perfect yeah. definition. A yeah. storm. But they're all simple things. It didn't take that long, did it? Just give me tea and toast. Yeah, but you like the food. I, I, See, yeah. That's the thing. Actually, I actually can't wait to dig in, <laughs> to be honest. I really See, can't. So let me just tell them what we have. We have some French toast. And we used Edu bread. Edu bread. bread. Very One special. Pound. Yeah, and it's not from Accra. It's from Ghana, but not Accra. Huh? We traveled far and wide for it. So Edu bread, French toast. And we have cocoa, or the ma cocoa, or what you, you would call corn dough or cornmeal. That's what we used for that. And then Ghana pancakes. Mm -hmm. And just handle the pancakes and the French toast very well, I must yes. say. Yes. But that's no surprise. Of course. And then baked beans and eggs. My spin on an English breakfast, mm. really. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then flavored water. So there are apples and some a bit of orange juice in there. Then cucumber and lemon. Ghana yes. lemon. Yeah, very simple. And hot chocolate. And hot chocolate, yes. You've got cinnamon here, have Yes, you? I did put some cinnamon in there. What is this? So this is icing sugar, oh. confectioner sugar, and then there's a bit of cinnamon there too. So you can use that to um, spruce up your your French toast if you like. You can do it with your pancakes. There's honey, mm. pure honey. I, I usually like the pure honey, okay. the forest honey. So you can use that too. And then there's cinnamon sugar. Okay. So it's just normal white granulated sugar. And then mix some cinnamon in. You could use any of them. Cool beans. And then we have the lemon and lemon wedges and then some lime. So you know the roll-ups we were talking about? We'll show them how to do it. Okay. The Ghana pancakes. Sounds good. That's what that's for. Can we dig okay. into some yes, hot chocolate? Yes, we can. And our guest I can't is wait almost to here. This. He called me a little while ago. Oh, he did? So yes. Here you go. Then why you have a crush? Cheers. The why you have a crush on? <coughs> Who is that? <laughs> or maybe mm. you don't. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see who this is. I just want to keep you guessing. Oh, <laughs> hi! Come, come, come! Oh come, come. no! <laughs> you did not bring Mo Shala. <laughs> yes, I brought Mo Shala. Mo Mo Shala. My my Mo Shala. Yeah. Come give me some love, baby. How you doing? Some Look, love, baby. You? Right here. Just drop it. Thank but you. But why are you all dressed up? <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> and then go to work. Ah, right. Some of us are on leave. So, so, <laughs> so the whole morning I've been and telling as, Chester. As she's on leave. I'm you must be. Yeah, you must be. <laughs> You must be. You know Today is not boss matter. <laughs> it's breakfast matter. Thank you. Yeah. You know, the whole morning I've been telling her that I guess it's someone she has a crush on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. You know what I like about Mo Shatta? His beard. This yeah. And that. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> like a big teddy bear. And he knows it. Yeah, he knows it. <laughs> yeah, I do not. Okay, yeah, so right. Yes, you do. Like, you know, spare us. Yes, you do. Throw the compliments yes, my way. Do. Yes, you do. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, so what we have here, French toast. Uh, pure coin and magic. Oh, hmm. Jess was here. Yeah. Yeah. Was, you know, that is why I came early because, you know, I have to sit down and enjoy it. Before I rush, I don't want to be rushing to work. And then, I'm like, no, <laughs> Apio coin, she said she's inviting me for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better show up. Early. You know? Yeah. An empty stomach. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So it's always important. So there's French toast, there's cocoa, white cocoa, but we have some interesting things mm -hmm. in there. Ghana pancakes. Big beans and eggs, hot chocolate. Whoop, whoop. Jess is already in love with. You, yes. yes. Yo, wait before you continue, mm -hmm. actually, because mm -hmm. I can Just see try. that Just you guys started without it. me. Yeah, yeah so. taste it. Of course. She put cinnamon in there. I thought that was really interesting, right? I think I'm about to put on some weight. <laughs> if you do, give so me the recipe. Well, it mm. is very simple. You know, so for those of you who missed it, um, you can just go to City Tube. Everything we did today will be up there all right so yeah so you dig mean, in where, where do you want us to start everywhere baby everywhere so since the bulls are on top maybe a bit cool. of everything yeah okay wow all right since your your father still take your bowl okay. oh bowl first yeah for the cocoa in it uh, okay yeah cocoa first yeah, all right this is still hot yeah okay i remember when my grandma used to make it we are so late for school but we always want to have a cocoa bowl. Yeah, it's very so <laughs> okay. you see, when you're done. No, you have a chair. <laughs> You'd see all of us with our bowls literally standing and then, you know that <laughs> method is... <laughs> so how did she used to make it? Did to she be put honest, anything interesting? I was, all I could remember was she used to make great food. Okay. I'd have to ask my brother because he remembers every, every single detail. 
Um, well, during mm -hmm. the time we were cooking, I was talking to Jess about how she started media and how she got on, into it. But what makes it interesting for me is that, you know, she started working when she was 19 and she worked throughout uni. I mean, just like yeah. we did, you know, we always talk yeah. about this. And a lot of young people are not willing to do that. They feel you need some super connections. But here we are today. Jess, you'll be 40 this year. You're 40. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, 40. I turned 40 this year. Um, who's it? <laughs> What's cooking, neighbor? Um, hello. I Uncle Jimmy. I smell sweet aroma of a uh, nice breakfast. Oh, yeah. Mm. It is nice. Um, wait, so this is Uncle Jimmy. Anyway. He's my neighbor. Uh, can you get up and sit over there? No, thank you. I'll rather sit here. I'm sure even if I went to the moon, who follow but, but, me once, it has so, to be. So, who put this thing here? Hmm? But it, you're making so life uncomfortable what? for me. So, right? now I can't arrange things in my house. No, but you see, come to inspect your house. Or? Uh, sure. He comes to eat my food. Anyway. Oh! <laughs> I hope you have made some provision for me. I haven't, but. Please. I think he's well known in your household because the dogs didn't make any noise at all. Yeah, <laughs> I was surprised. We didn't hear the dogs. Put, put that all. in your agenda because uh, I pop up anytime. So every time I cook, I should plan for you. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, can you get me some hot chocolate? And while I my How did you chocolate? even know? But, he's but you're drinking hot, hot chocolate. <laughs> you know what? Me, you, you understand? You can explain to Jess. Okay. Trust him or he will. I'll bring him a plate of yes, hot chocolate. Please, please what does do. that even mean? Means I was raised well. I don't turn people <laughs> away. Right. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. I have Uncle my Jimmy. own. Yes. So wait. Please, your hot do you always carry your cutlery around? Or <laughs> that's my this specialty. Is only you knew. That is my specialty. And uh, with a belt. <laughs> yes. For the grading system. <laughs> the what? Grading system. Yes. <laughs> wait. So you are here okay. to eat the food. Not just to enjoy it, but also to build it. Mm, I'm yes. invited. Mm -hmm. School uh, never ends. Mm. French toast came out pretty good. Did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to taste it myself. I like it. The toast, okay. eh? Can you serve me some toast? Yes. I, I thought it's you important. wanted the, the porridge, for the cocoa first. No, 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 no. <laughs> Is it English breakfast? Mm -hmm. No, it's an appeal cup breakfast. Appeal cup, yes. Mm -hmm. One of that. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, cocoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what bread? Different dried bread. peppers. What bread like is this? Of fleece, mm -hmm. but edu bread. bread. Edu bread. Wow. And you are only showing you there because with an A or E. Mm -hmm. With an okay, A. Could I have some of that? And I won't show you where it is because if I do, you be harassing my friend while okay. she's baking the bread. And. Okay. Uh, do you want any honey with that? You can have honey with yes, it. Honey will be fine. Um, you can also Thank do you. some honey cinnamon nice. sugar. Honey. Okay. You well, well, I'm saving Uncle Jimmy. So I was saying, so Jess has been doing this media thing for for what? How many years? 16, 17 years? At City, 16. Do you want to have any other place? That's a lot of years. Mm -hmm. okay. 21 years. That's In total. total. Life. Yeah. yeah, right. 21 in total. But today, she's the programs manager of arguably... One of the biggest patients. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, she, hasn't, she didn't become the programs manager yesterday. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half years ago when I walked into City, she was the programs manager uh, uh, of City okay. FM. I think I'm... I've been programs manager since um, 2009, I think. Wow. Mm. See? So we're, we're looking at what, Amazing. 11 years or so. Thereabouts. You know, but what's it like managing people? And Please, is this juice or water? <laughs> mm? It's whatever you want it to be. Is, that a, is it an attempt to make juice? It's, or it's, just it's whatever you want it to it's be. It's called, it's flavored water. Oh, water too that we drink? No, you have to enjoy it. Everything we, in life, you don't, just, you don't just take it, you enjoy it with a twist. Okay, that's like nice. the way you come with your cutlery. Well, you join the food with a twist. <laughs> I still don't get the fact that he walks around with his you know? cutlery. Like, yeah. who does that? Yeah, apparently, no. he does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is my NU um, first grade. <coughs> so I was An saying, eighth grade. I was saying, uh -huh. just what's it like managing people? I mean, um, the programs department, at least even at the time that I've been at City, has grown yeah. from a few people. Now you have almost 50 people who you have jurisdiction over in terms of portfolios. And what, what's it like? Huh. 
I mean, I think it's, <laughs> it, it's what you make it, right? Um, the most important thing you need to always remember is that you're dealing with people. Mm. Um, I think if you value the human resource, you know, you're halfway there. Because depending on um, how you treat, treat them, they will give you the output you're looking for or not. You know, and so you just need to sort of find a really good balance um, between that. So almost like, yeah, I'm pampering you, but not really. Get work done <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and I think that, that has sort of worked for me. Um, what, what, some of the, what are some of the peculiar challenges that you have? Because Jess, I know, I know you. I mean, I'm lucky to have Jess as a boss and a friend, right? Sure. Yes. But, and a big sister, really. Three birds with one Mentor, <laughs> several birds. Several birds. <laughs> you know. But I know that you like your space. Yes. You know, you'd, you'd rather, even if you had the chance, just go on radio, play music, and not talk. <laughs> be in your space. But you know now you have well. to interact with people. Yeah. I mean, that's where the work is, <laughs> isn't it? Um, mm. if whatever the work demands is what you do, right? Mm. Yeah, that's where the work is. For me, I think about it this way. Um, and for instance, people have always wondered why I never go on radio to mention my full name. Mm. From the very beginning, I tried to dissociate my character or my personality on air and off from air. the one off air. Oh. Because they're like night and day. If you, if you hear me joking on air, laughing, and you, and you approach me in town probably thinking, ah, oh, she's going to be so funny, mm. you might be disappointed. Very disappointed. Because, <laughs> yeah, because like, that's an on air personality I have created for radio. Um, it's not exactly who I am. I'm rather laid back, shy, I like to be with myself, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to find a nice balance between doing both of that and, um, well, keeping your, your show relevant. Yeah. <laughs> I think so that's what she we're trying to do. A very unique skill, because yeah. she can be there and start speaking in a certain way. Like. Oh yeah, that yeah, funny yeah, accent thing. Else, I an, an Indian, an Indian accent, <laughs> a French uh, accent. How you doing? And yeah, yeah like, these are all characters. There was one time yeah. she was on air, and I was like, "Is she interviewing someone?" Or like she and Kweku <laughs> interviewing someone? And I was like, it's the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally went to the studio, yeah. and I'm like, "Wow." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also very interesting, and perhaps it's a skill you've perfected over time. Mm. How your mood never affects your work. Yeah. So in, not just True. even in, in dealing with people, but I've seen Jess have a really bad day. Maybe something just really wasn't going on. Some, these are serious things. It's not like, well, I'm just not in the mood. She's going through serious stuff, you know? But the work, and yeah. she gets on air and it's like different person. Yeah. Yeah. Unless she lets you in, you so, actually don't so know. So how do you deal with people like me, impatient people? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, I mean, or people who people. pop <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, pop up unannounced. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I, I'm quite accommodating, you know. Um, I take people as they come, you know. And so I sort of, if, if you give me energy, I give you energy back. If you're calm, I'm calm. You know, it's like I just feed off whatever you give me. So if you're impatient, I could act impatient just to make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And we vibe. And yeah. then we'll start <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We vibe. Yeah. And then those who come and gossip and all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, gossip, gossip is part of life. Like, you know? <laughs> like imagine what will happen if people actually stopped talking. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that's, it's important. Someone the fact that people talk them. about you means that you're important. Or you, have, you are definitely moving forward True. or doing something. Yeah. Right. That's true. I mean, Mo, I have questions for you as well. Yeah. But before that, I mean, so Jess, you, and you manage the programs. Of what's in the uh, uh, hot chocolate? There's a bit of cinnamon in there. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, Jess, I think yeah. I like the cinnamon. Apart from. <laughs> Just, I mean, so we've spoken about you and the people aspect of management, mm -hmm. but creating content, and especially in a place like Ghana, yeah. where there's so many challenges. Indeed, at City, we've had our own challenges mm -hmm. because nobody typically gets up and wants to fund, you know, the content you're creating, but they True. want to watch good content. Of course. They're, they're the first people to talk about it when they feel it's not up to, st up to scratch. Right. But how have you reached the point where you become a, an amazing content creator? Mm. You know? I think when you put yourself in the shoes of the audience, it helps, mm. you know, because suddenly you're not just here trying to churn out anything because you have a camera and microphone lights. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Um, you know your audience. You know who they are, what they want, what keeps them up at so night. So there's a science to it. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. I mean, for you to be successful in any kind of business, you need to know your audience. Mm key because that even helps you develop the product so once you know that you can sort of preempt like okay um so if i'm reaching say 
a, a female audience between the ages of say 24 and 40, mm -hmm. what typically would be on their minds? Right. What would they like to see? Or they like to talk a cooking about. show like yeah. this right. perhaps would keep them going. What are their conversations? If they're 24, chances are they're just out of uni. Mm -hmm. What kind of content can I create for, for them that would be relevant enough for them to carry on? Kind of thing, you know. Also, so, what platforms would you actually catch them on? The, right. Exactly, yeah. you know. So, yeah. once you know your audience, you've solved more than half of your problem. Mm. Mm. Okay, so Mo, you are a, a lot of people don't know this, but hey, head of production at City TV, right? Yes. So, you work very closely with Jess, yeah. right? With me as well, mm -hmm. in other places, you know. <laughs> but and looking at it, but you're also a photographer. I mean, the first time I met you, you're you still in school. You know, mm -hmm. very young and uh, I, I was about wrapping up yes, in school. You know, and level four hundred. You, yeah. You've you've built a very competitive photography brand, a Mo Shutter brand. You know, honest. and you're not one of the loudest, but your clientele base <laughs> is pretty impressive. How have you done that? I think you still have my image. You, I haven't met you before. How do I? <laughs> you don't know. I'm somewhere in one of your pictures. One of my pictures. <laughs> Considering the way you are here, uninvited, I'm, I've definitely caught you somewhere before. Yes. Okay, so like uh, you were asking, uh, where did it start from? Uh, it all started with uh, a red camera that my dad used to have. And this was in the days when we used to use film. Uh, another fun fact, I can actually, I actually have the skill to develop film. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Which a lot of photographers today don't Can't have. Can't do. Of course yeah. not. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was dark room to edit like those kind of photos, but now it's light room because you definitely have to use a PC and all right. of that. But side tracking. Um, fast forward through many events from junior high, senior high, I realized that every time there was an event and I took pictures, there were other people who took pictures, but everybody kept coming to you. Can yes. I have a copy? Mm, yeah. uh, a particular event, our graduation, I don't have a copy of those pictures but every single one of my classmates has room. it wow there was so. a particular pen drive i put all the pictures on oh let me copy let me copy let me copy <laughs> i never got the pictures but i'll be there on facebook i'll see someone has tagged me i'm like I took, that. <laughs> I took that picture. I took that. I, I have some negatives I need you to bring them. Don't to worry. I'll, yes. I'll do it justice for you. Yes. The modern way, in fact. Yes, because uh, this is like 1995. 1995. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, so the business, I mean, how do, is it by referral, by word of mouth? Because you're not the loudest person on social media when no. it comes to photography. So the funny thing is, when I actually decided to go into photography, it wasn't for business. Okay. Hmm. It was purely for passion. Okay. Uh, shout out to Dex D. Uh, Livingston, super talented guy. Um, I started working with him on weddings, and I think it was in school that's 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 when the business aspect actually started. So, I mean, I go for photography classes at his place. I come back, I'm taking my pictures. My friends see me, oh, take me a picture. I take them a picture, and that was in the early days of Instagram. Okay. So only a few knew about it. So I send them the picture and they're like, hey, mm. they post it, they are getting likes. And <laughs> at that point in time, likes uh, uh, were have, major. Have you had some of the pancake? But you had some. No, have you had some? You know, I let me to, take one and then I pass the rest. No, 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 because I, I need to grade it and I, I want everyone's opinion. Okay. I don't want to be like I'm favoring somebody, okay? Okay. Okay. So you please continue. Yeah. Mm. So. It was then and there that the business aspect start, started to pop up because mm. I spoke to him about it. I think he actually is timing the okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, he, so I spoke to him about it and he was like, well, it looks like you have something people want. Mm. So go ahead and start. Do it. Yeah. Okay. So. And I remember my first gig, an unfortunate gig because it was a close friend, shot her birthday put my all into it and it was literally the day before an exam. Okay. To date I have never been paid for that. Aww. And I think in a way it was a good thing because then I realized the the purpose of actually doing the job as opposed to doing for the for money. money. Oh. Yeah. And that is what has driven it like since then. Since, since then. then. Working with yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Ford Foundation, working with People I ordinarily wouldn't have thought yeah. I would work with. Jameson, Arnold Ricard, like 
sometimes I sit back and I'm like, no, your clientele list is very impressive. It, it's it's crazy. But so when I met you, you knew just photography. I mean, to the point where. Yeah. You know, my wedding, you, you, you weren't doing videography. <laughs> but today, oh, we you're head of production wedding. at City TV. Like, how? How? <laughs> Honestly. I, I... <laughs> so, I'm going to reveal a certain secret about Jess. I mean, you all know that she's into YouTube. But, same way. I mean, we all know Jess, radio, programs, um, sister, sister. But, what people don't know is that right now she is a bad videographer, a drone pilot as that. Yeah, she doesn't sleep. <laughs> she doesn't sleep. I got into it from photography and once you start the beauty in pictures, you want to transcend and move okay. beyond. Yeah. Beyond so that. you play around with video a bit. Ooh, I want to do video. Yeah. And the benefit of YouTube, just watch, learn, learn, learn. Honestly, if I could be paid for watching YouTube videos. <laughs> you have a lot of, <laughs> of money. Okay. Okay. Uncle Jimmy, do you have a verdict? Yes. Because you, the way I can feel your eyes on my neck. Yeah. What, what mm. is this? Like by force, you want to greet us? Yeah. We are listening. Oh, no. I think uh, the breakfast is nice. It passes the test. Um, and I think that uh, every morning you have to do something like this. English Ghanaian breakfast, as you may call it. I think you're a very privileged neighbor, you know that. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. That's why I'm always uh -huh. elegantly dressed uh -huh. to have breakfast, uh -huh. lunch, uh -huh. and dinner. What? Oh, yes. Have so your that's your job. Okay, so what is the verdict? Oh, excellent day. Okay. Because you have, you said French, what, toast uh -huh. in English breakfast. I didn't tell you it was an English breakfast. I said oh, so it was a pure cause breakfast. breakfast. A pure, okay, a pure cause breakfast. Of, yes, of course. So your verdict? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Jimmy. Thank yes. you. Yes. <sighs> it's been good. Jess, it's thank you for really coming good. by. Thank, thank you for you. coming by. And I should be here more often. You know, I look forward to seeing 30 more years plus of you. Oh. And, and well, you, should, you should consider right teaching here. some, taking, I mean, media classes. <laughs> yeah. You really should because people don't realize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. should. You really should. You really should. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish our breakfast here. You've just joined us for another wonderful episode of What's Cooking. And until next time, if you're wondering what's cooking, a whole lot. <laughs>